Live activities are notifications that provide real-time updates on your lock screen or within Dynamic Island. This feature can be great for keeping track of things like sports scores, deliveries, food orders, rides, timers, and more. First, we need to make sure Live Activities is activated. This can be done in the Face ID and Passcode section of the Settings app. Scroll down to the Allow Access When Locked section and make sure Live Activities is activated. With that taken care of, let's go through a few examples of Live Activities on a couple iPhones and an iPad. Live Activities don't work on macOS. We'll start with a timer. I'll head into the Clock app and set a timer on both this iPhone and iPad. Now when I lock these devices and tap their display to show the lock screen, that timer is displayed and it's counting down. There are three things we can do with the timer here on the lock screen. It can be paused or canceled with these buttons, or swipe left on it to clear the live activity. Doing this will not stop the timer. It's only going to remove the live activity notification from your lock screen. We have the same options on the iPhone. This is an iPhone 12, which is missing two things that can enhance live activities. Those are an always-on display and dynamic island. This iPhone has both of those, so when I start the same timer on it, we can see the timer up in Dynamic Island from whatever app that we're in. When this iPhone is locked, the live activity is going to be continuously visible due to the always on display. Notice that we don't see the seconds tick down because the iPhone display doesn't update that quickly when locked. Tap to brighten the lock screen, and the seconds are shown. We have the same pause, cancel, and clear options. Next, let's track a game from the Apple Sports app. We're able to set any game that's currently being played as a live activity with just a tap. Currently, this Celtics-Raptors game is the only one that's going on. Everything else starts later. Tap on it to expand that game's details. Here in the upper right, we have a clock icon. Tap on this and the clock fills with solid white. This means that the game will now appear as a live activity on my lock screen and in Dynamic Island. Close the Sports app and the live score is visible here in Dynamic Island. Tap and hold for more details, including the game clock and play-by-play -play updates. Lock the iPhone and that same panel that includes the clock and play-by-play -play is visible. Since this iPhone has an always-on display, we can see how the game is going with just a glance. No need to wake the display or unlock the iPhone. On an iPhone or iPad without an always-on display, we just need to tap the screen to wake it and view the live activity. Single tap on the live activity from the lock screen to open the game again in the Sports app. Swipe left on the live activity here to deactivate it as a live activity. Back in the sports app, the clock icon is no longer solid white, which means this game will not appear as a live activity. Next, we just have a couple examples of how other live activities will look. First is Uber. The live activity keeps us updated as to when our driver will arrive and in what model of vehicle. For DoorDash, we see an arrival window and the progress of the order below. All of these will be updated in real time as a live activity. 